Right, uh, another quick look at uh, the latest video we've got here for the shack. A Superstar 7900. Bought the second hand off uh, eBay a few weeks ago there. Came in as new condition with the box and all the gubbins and manuals and warranties and brackets and all the things that go bump in the night. A bit bigger than what I actually thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be something similar size to the uh, the 9900, but it's not. It's the same size as a, a Superstar 3900. So it's quite a lump of a thing. And uh, quite a handsome looking display. And it has, uh, I think it has 8 blocks of 40. And it'll take you, it might have more than that now, it might have more. It'll take you from about 25 megs on up into 30 megs. So it's, it's a substantial coverage of... Uh, of the uh, the HF band indeed, um, that's obviously it modded to export mode. They they come as a ten meter radio, and uh, they have a nice uh, triple meter. Let me get this thing to focus. If your bottom uh, your bottom line is your SWR, your middle one is your power output, and the top one's the RF meter. But uh, quite nice radio indeed. Uh, they they're sporting the uh, this RJ forty five microphone clip. Which is like that. Just basically a telephone plug. Not happy about those at all. I think they'll not take a bit of a knock. You can buy these adapters. If you want to change the microphone. But you can guarantee within uh, within five years. Every radio manufacturer is going to have one of these plugs. Not because they're probably going to be an awful lot cheaper than uh, than these to produce. But don't like them. Don't like them at all. But anyhow. That's the way things are going. Um. Nothing on the triple as usual. It's a quiet Monday night. You can change frequency obviously by going up and down with the, the buttons in the microphone as well. You have various bleeps on board, all sorts of nonsense. This one comes with the uh, CTCSS board built in. Um, emergency button, your memory button, your scan, noise blanker, high cut, Roger bleep, and you can also disable this. If that annoys you after a while, you can disable that. Dual watch, 10kc shift. I don't know what you need the 10kc shift for, because you can, you can simply turn it up. It goes up in steps of 10kc. You're not sort of... You don't sort of need that for the alpha channels. Mode switch, menu. It also has a built-in echo. And uh, you can either have the frequency showing or your channel. But yes, a nice handsome display on it. And uh, you can also alter the clarifier so it'll be opened or uh, locked. You can you can you can shift with the uh, the clarifier, or else you can you can do that all internally by the menu, which is uh, quite convenient. But nice really, this one's put maybe 30 watt sideband and about 20 AM with a bit of swing, and about 15 FM I think. But uh, happy enough with it. Happy enough with it indeed. It's just a shame, I'm, I would have thought it would have been a nice touch if the, the buttons on the bottom were, were actually backlit. It would have been nice for, uh, you know, when you're mobile at night. And another good feature again, which I've discovered, is the you can alter the power by this button here. You can shift your power about. And it also alters the power of the, uh, the sideband as well, which a lot of the older radios simply don't do that. You're just, you know, you're, you're, you're only altering FM and AM power. And that's quite convenient if you're running an amplifier. You can turn the way down to about 4 watts output if you're on amplifiers and whatnot instead of the older radios you would have had to lift the tinware and go inside them and alter the, the power output for running amplifiers but nice radio indeed nice radio indeed happy enough with it what does it say not a squeak all is quiet in the western front They also do, uh, it also comes in auto manufacturer Anytone, the Anytone, uh, is it 5555, if my memory strikes me right. But, uh, there we go folks, a quick look round, a rather clean CRT Superstar 7900.